Everybody ready? Um, I'm here tonight um, to tell you about the arrest and termination of a probationary corrections officer. Uh, corrections officer James Mock III. We got uh, information uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually through NCIS, that uh, this officer Mock had, was uh, possibly buying pills, pain pills. So we started a joint investigation with NCIS, uh, and there's been some conversation back and forth through this time and uh, with by text and things. Uh, today, about five o'clock, actually they set it up earlier than that, but about five o'clock today, um, James Mock, who was on duty working at the jail, left on his dinner break to meet uh, an undercover NCIS agent whom we used because they wouldn't know who he was and he probably would recognize our people. But Mock left on his dinner break and went to the Burger King right up on State Street to meet with this undercover officer where he bought 80 30 milligram oxycodone pills for $1,600 from the undercover agent. Um, he was uh, arrested at that time. Uh, they had done some interviews and whatever, and he is in the process now of being transported to jail and booked. I don't have the, the docket for you, but I didn't want to wait too late, and this way you guys will get it. He sold them. Oh, did I get that backwards? Yeah. Oh, he sold the pills. He sold the pills. I'm sorry. He sold 80 yeah. what type of pills? It was, was 80 it? 30 milligram oh. oxycodone pills. The first time, the information we got was that he was buying them. I'm sorry. But what he did this time was he sold pills. All right. All right. So, Just to make it clear, Mock was selling the drugs to the undercover yes, agent, is that yes, right? Yes, that's exactly right. I'm sorry. I, uh, like I said, the first time, the first information we had was that he was buying pills, and I, I didn't look at my notes. Could you, I'm sorry, for the purposes of radio, could you actually give that corrected statement so I actually have a good sound bite for you? Absolutely. To, take on Jacksonville's two. morning Absolutely. Yeah, okay, if I get take two, that um, <laughs> We had gotten information that, that he was buying pills. Uh, and so an investigation was begun between our integrity unit, and as you know, our integrity unit investigates criminal allegations against uh, members of our department, uh, along with NCIS. And after some contact with this individual mock, uh, a deal was set up today at 5 p.m. at the Burger King on State Street, uh, where mock uh, sold 80 30 milligram oxycodone pills for $1,600 to that undercover agent. Uh, he was taken down there and arrested. He's being in the process of being booked now, and as soon as they get that paperwork done, then Melissa will be able to get that to you. Was he in uniform at the time? Uh, yes, he was in uniform at the time. How long was he with the department for? I've got the dates here. He, he started um, in April of last year. Of course, there's uh, academy time and training time. He actually became a correctional officer uh, in November of last year. November so just, 11? No, November 2nd. November 2011. Oh, no, no, November, yes, November of 2011 is when he began as a corrections officer, so he was still on probation. Uh, so as a result of him being on probation, and, and because I don't have to go through a lot of the civil service uh, rules with that, he, I, well, he's terminated, so. Now just to make absolutely clear, everybody who starts with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is automatically on probation for a certain amount of yes, time, It right? depends on what classification just you're in, but it's generally about a year. Yes, everybody's on probation. Uh, for, and, and in correction officer and police officer cases, it's for a year after they make the rank of whatever they are, because they're, they're, they're for a while they're recruits and they're trainees and then they become an officer and from that point they have a year's probation. Well, if he was selling this oxycodone, where was he getting it from? Um, they're still investigating that. Um, you know, I, I don't know where he got it from, for sure. What began the investigation? Did you Some, we got in, somebody gave information to NCIS that we had a corrections officer that was buying pills. NCIS contacted our department and they were connected then with our integrity unit and they began a joint investigation about two weeks ago. So he was actually arrested at the Burger King? He wasn't no, arrested. actually he was arrested back at, toward the jail. Okay. Um, and there were just, you know, tactical reasons for doing it that way as opposed to at the Burger King. We knew where he was going. He was on his dinner break. He was coming back to the jail. We knew where he was going to be. Any other questions? How old is he? Uh, I don't have his age. I'm sorry, but they should have that one. It'll be on the docket. The docket comes What's his first name, sir? His first name is James. James Mock the third. Mock, M-O-C-K? M-O-C-K. And his official title is probation? No, he's a corrections officer. Corrections officer. Yes. That's okay. I'm assuming that he didn't have any prior drug arrest before joining JSO? No, he, we wouldn't have been hired. But so, um, you know, and we do a pretty extensive background screen. I know some of you have been around here a while know how that goes, but, um, you know, sometimes despite your best efforts, some of these people, uh, or, or something changes in their life and they, and they start doing something different. Did he ever have any involvement with NCIS or they were just the agency that got the tip? They were the agency that got the information and then they, they brought it to us. And because they brought it, uh, the, the integrity unit, worked with them and then like I said when it got down time to do a deal with him 
the, the odds of him knowing one of our officers was greater, so we used one of their undercover people to do the deal. Was he selling in the jail? Um, we don't believe so. Obviously, you got to be disappointed. Absolutely disappointed. This is not the kind of thing that we tolerate. Um, I've been the undersheriff for about 11 months now, and I've stood up here in front of you now two or three times to talk about people that we've arrested. We take every allegation of misconduct, whether it's whether it's criminal or it's administrative, we take it very seriously. We investigate it, and we take appropriate action. We've terminated a number of people in the 11 months I've been under sheriff. I've lots of suspensions, um, and and you know, and we've arrested a few. So uh, we, we take the action we need to take. Exact clarification of NCIS. What's the acronym stand for? That's the Naval Criminal Intelligence Service. I think. Did they have some connection to the Navy? Is that no? They, they just got the information. Somebody that knew somebody with NCIS, I think, you know, told them that they knew about this, and so then they brought it to us. I mean, it happens to us. We get people that will see an officer and tell them about something that's going on somewhere else, and then we contact them. So it, it's just. What's the official charge that he's being? Um, he has been charged with selling a Schedule One or Two synthetic narcotic within 1,000 feet of a convenience business, which is a first-degree felony and possession of a controlled substance, which is a third degree felony. He had additional pills other than the ones he sold. Is, is, are there any charges that are brought to them for having been an officer? Or no, I don't think there's an enhancement. Right. Mike, is there an enhancement for him being an officer? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. And, it, and the, the first one is a first degree felony, so it's about as good as it gets. Any other questions? I'd have to look. I, okay, I, I, don't, okay. I don't remember, but, but but if you look in the statutes, you know, a third degree is punishable by this to this, and a right. second is this to this, and, and a first degree is the most serious know, uh, of those. <laughs> That's okay. And what degree is this once again? It's a first degree. Right. It's two charges, a first degree and a third degree. Any other questions? And he was put into the jail where the, he They're in the process the of doing that right now. Okay. Will yeah. his uh, arrest and uh, booking photo be available? Well, his photo may not be, you know, as you know, uh, they have an exemption through Florida law. If they sign something saying they don't want it, we don't release it. So you may not get the photo, but you will get the booking report and it'll have the information on it. But that's kind of the way it always goes with us. You'll get that tonight, probably. I, mean, I think they're in the process right now of getting through the back door. I thought it would be done by now, but I also didn't want to wait too late because I know you guys oh, no. got deadlines. It'll probably be 15 minutes. <laughs> you and me both. Simple as that. Amen. <laughs> okay. I actually already been home and out of this uniform once. I had to put it back on to come back. So. <laughs> All right. Anybody All right. Else? Thank you. All right, thank you.